Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to quickly discuss something in the realm of jailbreaking. We're going to be talking about Apple's next upcoming firmware release being iOS 9.3.2, as well as kind of whether we're going to receive another new jailbreak before iOS 10, and kind of when everything is coming and when we can expect the new firmware being iOS 9.3.2. So let's start to talk about that first because we're going to discuss why 9.3.2 is so important in just a second. Remember, this is just a super quick video though because I expect iOS 9.3.2 could be released and I say could be as early as this week. Yes, that's right, possibly on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Typical days for Apple releases. We can't really pin down one or the other, but it is highly probable that this week we will see the public iteration of iOS 9.3.2. It is still possible that we could get another beta before it is issued to the public, though at this point it is unlikely because last week we did not see iOS 9.3.2 beta 5. Instead, we didn't get anything. So that leads us to the conclusion that Apple just continued internally testing 9.3.2 last week and that we're going to get the finalized version of the firmware ready for public release this week. And yeah, that's very important when we're talking about the next untethered jailbreak utility. I can't tell you how many questions I receive from individuals asking when we're going to get a 9.3 or 9.3.1 jailbreak, or in fact, even iOS 9.2.x. As I've said before, jailbreak developers are definitely waiting on iOS 9.3.2 before issuing a new untethered jailbreak. And while you may say, hey, that's happened every single time a new firmware is released, another one goes into beta, which then just delays the release of the next untethered jailbreak. And yes, while that is true, iOS 9.3.2 is definitely special. It's more like iOS 8.3 and 8.4 of last year, because those firmwares are basically considered the same thing. 8.4 just added Apple Music support in the sense that Apple will now cease development for the current firmware series being iOS 9.x. Remember, in just less than a month in June, Apple will unveil the next iteration of iOS being iOS 10, and they'll see the first beta version of it to register developers. So that's right around the corner. They're going to stop allocating resources to iOS 9 development and kind of push iOS 10. In fact, that's what they've been doing. See, iOS 9.3 was really Apple's last major push with iOS 9. It added Night Shift as well as several other bigger changes that we didn't expect to see in iOS 9 and we thought would be attributed to iOS 10. However, iOS 9.3 also brought some complications. That's why we have 9.3.1 and that's why we're getting iOS 9.3.2. So once things are more stable, which is what jailbreak developers are banking, on, then it would make the most sense to release a new untethered jailbreak. I also wanted to remind you guys that the best thing that we can do is make predictions of what's going to happen based on what's happened in the past and what's currently going on in the world of iOS and jailbreaking. Remember, things are always shifting and nothing is static. New developments, as they have in the past, could easily come up and push things back further, though we likely don't see that happening this time since iOS 10 is so close. Remember, iOS iOS 9.3.2 hopefully should be the firmware that will receive a new untethered jailbreak. Remember, we are going to receive a new jailbreak. This isn't the first time we've had to wait for a jailbreak utility. I can't tell you how often individuals claim that this is the end of jailbreaking. They do that every single year and every single time that we have to wait. They still don't understand and they still don't learn that jailbreak utilities take hundreds of hours to complete and timing is everything. Jailbreak developers have to be methodical in which firmware they actually release a new jailbreak for because it is so easy for Apple to patch. Apple has the manpower here, not jailbreak developers. They could release a firmware to patch a jailbreak at any time, and if they don't strategically plan the release of a new jailbreak, then their efforts and their hundreds of hours that they poured into it go to waste. So I want you guys to understand that. And as for iOS 9.3.2 goes, do you hope or think it will be released this week? Let me know in the cards. Also, if you want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. That way you don't miss out. And check out my new website, jailbreakandhacks.com. That's where new updates are going to be featured as well as quick videos similar to this one and even other videos outside of the realm of iOS and jailbreaking. 
Remember, check it out, jailbreakinghacks.com. I'm going to be replying there in comments quite frequently. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for new coverage on everything ranging from upcoming Apple devices to new jailbreak utilities. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.